Let's say I'm a real estate agent. On Facebook, I ran an ad offering free home valuation for potential home sellers. And it's working great. People are calling in and they're asking questions. The problem? My secretary is on vacation and I can't answer the phone either because right now I have a serious buyer ready to close the deal. So Candace, we are ready to move forward. What do you need from me? But who is going to take care of the leads that are calling me right now as we speak? That's where Texa agents can help. Let me show you. So now think of me as the customer. I saw an ad on Facebook saying free home valuation and I'm very interested because I wanna sell my home as soon as possible. I'm gonna call the number right now and see if someone actually answers the call. Thank you for calling Candace Williams Realty. This is Sarah. Are you looking to sell your property? Yes, I am. Great, I can help you with that. Could you please provide the property address you're considering selling? Uh, I'm not comfortable disclosing that right now, but it's in the Grand Rapids area. It's one of the areas you cover, correct? No, that yes, we do cover the Grand Rapids area, so you're in the right place. Would you mind sharing if the property is currently occupied or vacant? It's currently occupied. Thanks for letting me know. How many bedrooms and bathrooms does the property have? So it has six bathrooms, three bedrooms, and two kitchens. Got it. That's a spacious setup. What's motivating you to consider selling at this time? Moving out of the country. That sounds like an exciting change. What's your timeline looking like for selling the property? Are you planning to sell soon or just exploring your options As soon as now? possible. I understand. Since you're looking to sell quickly, we can schedule a consultation with Candace to get the ball rolling. Would you like me to arrange a phone consultation with her? Oh, wait. You're, you're not Candace? Who are you? I'm Sarah, the voice assistant for Candace Williams Realty. I help gather information and book appointments so Candace can follow up personally. Would you like me to set up a consultation with her? Yeah, sure. Great looking into it. Candace is available for a consultation today at 9 a.m. Would that work for you or do you have a different time in mind? Sorry, can you remind me what time, what date is today? Sure. Today is Tuesday, June 10th, 2025. Would you like to schedule the consultation for today or another day? Oh, another day. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Be right back. Candace is available tomorrow at 1 p.m. Could you please provide your name, phone number, and email to complete the booking? So my name is Kendra uh, McDonald, and my email is, let me just spell it that for you, C-A-N-D-A-C-E-M-E-N-D-E-Z, 13 at gmail.com, and my phone number is 2345688292. Give me a moment, please. You're all set, Kendra. I've scheduled your consultation with Candace for tomorrow at 1 p.m. You'll receive a confirmation email shortly. If you need to make any changes, feel free to let us know. Looking forward to helping you with your selling process. Oh, by the way, I have a question. Um, how much is it for the valuation? I, I, I saw that it was for free, but I'm just making sure that it's really free. Yes, the home valuation is completely free with no fees or commitments required. It's a no obligation consultation to help you understand your property's current market value. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. No, that's about it. You have a great day. Bye. If you want to see how to set this up in Texta Agents with step-by-step -step instructions, continue watching. You're only going to be needing a Texta Agents account and Google Calendar. Let's begin. All right, to get started, head over to textaagents.ai. Sign in, and this is what you're going to see. Now, before we create our agent, we need to integrate the calendar that we're going to be using. To do that, hit integrations on the top left. And now you're going to have the option to connect your Google Calendar. Just click Connect Calendar. Choose the Gmail account associated with that calendar. Hit Continue. And there you go. Your calendar is connected. Now we're going to go ahead and create our new agent. To do that, click on New Agent, name your agent, and hit Create. Currently, by default, it's going to show you the prompt tab. Now, if you're coming from a dental booking tutorial, this might look completely new to you. No worries. This is just a different view. If you want to use the canvas view, all you have to do is to click switch to canvas view. And you're going to see the same interface that we used with the dental appointment setter. I'm actually going to switch to prompt view just to show you how it works. Let's start with a greeting message. Thank you for calling the company name. This is Sarah, the name of my agent. Are you looking to sell your property? And here, choose whether the user or AI start the conversation. 
In this case, I want my agent to start the conversation because I want it to open the call. So I'm leaving that off. But if you want the customer or the caller for some reason to start the conversation, you just turn that on. And now this is the system prompt. Let me show you mine. Here, I gave it context. I told the AI the set of information that I want to extract from the caller. But of course, depending on the real estate agent's requirements, you can change up these questions. If they're interested and open to call back by Candace, tell them that you can schedule the phone consultation with Candace and offer the soonest available slot for a callback. Also, make a summary of the caller's intent and record it on the calendar detailing the above mentioned information. So I will hit publish to save that, but we're gonna add another set of instructions into the global settings. To do that, click configure advanced settings. Scroll down a little bit and type in the prompts. You are a friendly conversational voice assistant working for a real estate agent named Candace. And of course, the operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. are not allowed for appointment because it's for lunch break. I'm putting these settings in the global settings because this is going to apply to all nodes. This is going to be true for all these transactions. I could put this here into the main prompt but the thing is, if I happen to create a different node, then I'm going to have to write these instructions again. That is why I'm putting it in the global prompt. So you just hit publish. There you go. To understand this, let me show you the canvas view. So this is one node. Depending on the complexity of your system, you could add another node performing a different function. But today, I'm just going to be using one node. So technically, I can... I can put these instructions from the global settings and integrate it into this main node, but I'm not going to do that just for, I guess it's just for best practice in case I want to add a new node soon. So now that we've added our prompts, it's now time to connect Texa to Google Calendar. In my previous tutorial for booking appointments, I used make.com, but in this case, we no longer need make.com. We can connect Texa directly to the Google Calendar. Let me show you. Hit Tools, and in the box, look for Google Calendar. Click that. Click Google Calendar. This is a pre-made tool by Texa, allowing you to manipulate events in Google Calendar. In this case, we're gonna book the appointment. You hit Save and Close. Let's actually add a knowledge base. I have here a document that I created. This contains the frequently asked questions by callers. I'm just going to be uploading that into Texa. So the AI is going to know the frequently asked questions along with the answers. So we head over to the knowledge tab and hit add source file. This is the file and add files. All right, it's done. Once it's successful, you can see the information reflected here. You just hit save. And now we can test our agent. To test the agent, hit test on the top right. Thank you for calling Candace Williams Realty. Okay, I don't like that voice. I'm gonna change it. I like this voice, it's upbeat. That's how I want my assistant to sound like. All right, to test it out, let's click tests on the top right hit refresh click voice chat thank you for calling candace williams realty this is sarah are you looking to sell your property yes i am that's great could you please provide me with the address of your property i'm not going to give you my full address but i just want to know what areas do you cover we serve the Southeast Michigan area, including Metro Detroit, Grand Rapids, Holland, Muskegon, Wyoming, MI, Kentwood, and Grand Haven. Okay. Is um, property? Yeah, my property is in Grand Rapids. Great. Since your property is in Grand Rapids, we can certainly assist you with a home valuation. Is the property currently occupied or vacant? It's currently occupied. Thank you for letting me know. How many bedrooms and bathrooms does your property have? It has five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and two kitchens. 
Thanks for the details. What's motivating you to consider selling your home? We're moving out of the country. That sounds like an exciting adventure. What's your timeline for selling the property? Are you planning to sell soon or just exploring your options for I'm now? I'm planning to sell as soon as possible, as soon as you guys can get me a buyer. Got it. I'll make a note of that. Would you like me to schedule a phone consultation with Candace so she can discuss this further with you? Wait, you're not, you're, you're not Candace. Uh, who are you? I'm Sarah, the voice assistant for Candace Williams Realty. I'm here to gather information and help schedule appointments so that Candace can follow up with you personally. Would you like to schedule a consultation with her? Yeah, but how much does it cost for a valuation? The home valuation is completely free. There are no fees or commitments required. It's just a way for you to get an estimate of your property's current market value. Would you like to go ahead and schedule the consultation with Candace? Okay. All right, one sec. The soonest available slot for a consultation with Candace is today at 2 p.m. Would you like to book that time or is there another time that works better for you? No, I would like it to be June 10th at 10 a.m. Give me a moment, please. It looks like the slot on June 10th at 10 a.m. is already booked. Could we try a different time on that day? Perhaps 9.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. What about, uh, what's the available time? time slots on that day. Great looking into it. On June 10th, the available time slots start at 11 a.m. and run through the afternoon. Would you like to book the 11 a.m. slot? 11 a.m. would be great. Perfect. Could I have your name, phone number, and email address to finalize the booking? My email, I'm going to spell it C-A-N-D-A-C-E-M-E-N-D-E-Z 13 at gmail.com. My name is Megan Ratched. Phone number 234-568-9282. Great looking into it. I've scheduled your consultation with Candace for June 10th at 11 a.m. You'll receive a confirmation email shortly. If you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to reach out. Looking forward to helping you with your home sale. All right, bye. Have a great day. Thank you, Megan. You too. Take. So, as you can see, appointment was booked live. You saw that. Consultation with Megan Ratched. And on top of that, it recorded the summary of the call, which was home valuation consultation from Megan Ratched. Property is in Grand Rapids, correct? Occupied, five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and two kitchens. Motivated by moving out of the country, planning to sell as soon as possible, and phone number and email address. And if you open this event, you're going to see the email of the guests reflected. Everything that the real estate agent has to know is here. It's like an assistant making sure you're ready before you make that call, that you don't miss out on the leads that are calling you during your unavailable hours. If you wanna know the exact prompts and settings I used for this agent, download the JSON file I'm gonna be linking below in the description. And once downloaded, import that file. To do that, go to Agents tab, Import Agent, click that and import the file. Load it, and there you go. You should be able to see this copy of the agent. And if you click on the prompt tab, these are the prompts, including the global prompts. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and we'll get back to you.